Okay, so there is so much going on in this healing situation that I need to do an intro in order to alert you of it so you can watch out for it all. So Ahava and I are in Tempe, Arizona, and in this situation, the healing situation, we're at a bus stop, and it's just me and Ahava. Ahava's on a camera. I'm ministering to this lady, and there's a, a man there who's watching the whole situation. It's just the four of us, nobody else at the bus stop, and he's watching the whole situation, and I can tell he's got demons. But Hava and I both know he's got demons in him. He needs to repent. And so, at the beginning of the situation, close to the start of it, I'm I'm rebuking the evil spirits and taking authority over them because I can tell the devil wants to just sidetrack this whole situation so that the lady doesn't get healed. And so. Uh, the lady at the very beginning you'll see she was smoking a cigarette and then she puts it out and so that speaks a lot to me it's it, because she's a she uh, she identifies herself as a born-again Christian okay and so so that the fact that she put it out tells me that she's not just totally carnal she has a reverence for prayer she put it out and then she ex exhales the smoke on the side of her mouth, kind of like away from me, which is a respectful thing to do. And, uh, and, but, uh, she, I couldn't tell that she was born again. Uh, and a lot of times I can discern who's born again. I can tell a believer just by looking at them and I couldn't really tell. And, and it, it makes me think of the scripture verses where Paul says about the Galatians that when the the Galatians had fallen away from the Lord uh, because they were going back to trying to be justified by the keeping of the law and not uh, by the Spirit because the Spirit was doing all sorts of mir amazing miracles through them and all. And, uh, and so they were being bewitched. And so uh, Paul, Paul writes, um, I wrestle in prayer until, uh, again, until Christ be formed in you. So, so Christ, when we become born again, Christ is formed in us. And then, you know, our heavenly father sees his son, Christ formed in that person. And then we're, we're aware, like, like Paul elsewhere wrote that, uh, when, when, uh, God was pleased to reveal Jesus Christ in me. So I, and I've elaborated on that in the past that I believe that, that Jesus Christ is in everybody. And that's not universalism. I adamantly oppose universalism because it, it, it it's like an, an excessive amount of greasy grace, hyper grace, you, you know, where, you know, anything goes, everybody's saved. And it's like total nonsense, rubbish. It can easily be debunked in the word of God. When I say Jesus Christ is in everybody, it's because that can easily be uh, backed up biblically because Jesus is the author of life. Every single person and animal and plant and everything in creation that has life in it has life in it because of Jesus Christ. And and he holds all things together by his great power, the word says. And so people are breathing and walking around because of you know in him we live and move and have our being. You know, that's the, the spirit that God puts in everybody at conception is what gives you life. It makes your heart beat. It's from God. And so Jesus is in everybody. And then God reveals Jesus Christ in people. And then it is our job to respond to that when God reveals him. And then we follow him. We, 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 we say yes to him, become born again. The, the, the Holy Spirit circumcises our heart. We're born again, and then we follow him all the days of our life until we until we go home. And so, what happens is, when, like this woman, for instance, that you're going to see, like because of carnality, because the cigarettes is just that's that's carnality, but that's only that's a small thing compared to some other issues that she had in her life that she needed to repent of. And uh, and she was like, you know, some of the things we were talking about, which on I don't have in this video. Uh, because of privacy, uh, I some of those things she's mowing over back and forth in her mind whether or not what I'm saying is true, and so that's the work of the enemy, and also possibly the demons in this man that's in the video trying to bring confusion. So maybe she was having a hard time figuring it out herself, you uh, know. So, so like uh, she, you know, 
So she, nevertheless, she received. So I couldn't really recognize Christ in her because of the carnality, but she received because God sees, uh, God loves her and God sees the ignorance. And so she was healed and it was awesome. And, the, you know, so he, healing was going, healing was there, you know, in terms of gifts, healing, there was discerning of spirits. I had words of knowledge. And so the, uh, the, at least three of the gifts of the Holy Spirit were in activation, if not, you know, four. Uh, and so it, it was like the whole video is filled with all sorts of stuff. And, uh, and so during the situation with the young man, uh, oh, and also with, with one of the manifestations, I had been calling for a supernatural ice pack because her right knee was swollen for years. She had problems with her right knee for years. And, uh, and uh, at first the Holy Spirit wasn't responding with a supernatural ice pack, but when she told me some more specifics that I wasn't getting words of knowledge on, I started speaking specifically to trauma based on her, the knee problem with the trauma. And so when I was speaking specifically, then the ice pack started appearing. So like, so I was coming against casting out a spirit of trauma. And once that spirit of trauma was off of her, then the manifestation I was calling for was active. And it was like 100 degrees out in Tempe, Arizona that day. So that's an interesting little tidbit to know about how to uh, get uh, the manifestations that you're calling for to be activated, meaning you've got to be specific to know what's going on. So it's got to be revealed to you either through a word of knowledge or the person just telling you more information. And so, and then it, so at one point, uh, this guy, you'll see that Hava have, have puts the camera to the kid that's in the video, and uh, and I'm I I bind the demons so that he's not interrupting any any so he doesn't get away with healing with her healing, but he does interrupt at at, at one point. He's uh, he's saying to me, I got a bug on my head. He goes, Oh, can I, let, can I brush that bug off? And I say, No, no, don't touch me. Like you know, I can tell. I knew there was no bug, and Hava said, No, there's no bug, and so what what satan wanted in that situation i believe is that is he wanted me to say yes like an invitation like the guy wanted to touch me on the head so it was demons wanting an invitation from me to touch me and that would have put some demons on me and he, and so um you know i was born at night but it wasn't last night satan it needs to be a little more shrewd with me and so i've had zero demonic attacks or problems on me since this situation zero because i will kick I will, i'll put a beating on demons like i've had many situations with demonic attacks and and uh, you know granted when when you get attacked by demons like what like i've been attacked by demons in sleep a number of times and they always get some good shots in because they take you by surprise it's like a sneak attack but then once the holy spirit engages and empowers me i put a beating on him i always win every single time put a beating on these demons you know and and, and then they learn their lesson and they avoid me for a while and then you know maybe they one get will get bold and attack me again and then he'll lose you know and so so we got to be on our guard at all times against this and so so and then and then when uh when when the demons i, I guess the demons were frustrated and so so the lust that was in this kid started stirring up and he started being like abusive towards a hava and being nasty at which point we just ended the situation with the woman because she was healed anyway and just started rebuking him i was in his face rebuking him and uh and he was like you know he was like i'm sorry i'm sorry and but i knew it was like he wasn't really repentant and uh and i believe the devil wanted me to like like hit him or get involved in a carnal way, which I, I don't do. I've never done that. I've never, as a born again Christian, I've never struck anybody. Even, even before I was born again, for instance, I've, I've never struck a woman in my entire life, even when I was young and carnal. And, you know, cause I've had plenty of fights when I was young and carnal, but always with guys, you know? And, uh, so I believe the devil wanted me to strike him so that I could be arrested in Tempe, Arizona, because, because the Tepe, Arizona trip was on the heels of uh, the amazing situation in California where a lot of people got healed, including something amazing that happened that I'm going to talk about in a future video. 
So, but anyway, that's a heads up on all that's in this video. So watch out for all this and you'll see what I mean by it. So God bless you. Thanks for watching and, and, and check out the description box of this video for links, including a link to our website where on our website, there's different pages. You can click that link to the website and then there's a, including a page with to sow into the ministry. So the Holy Spirit, if you, if you gain some good information from this video and you're encouraged by it, then it's wise to sow into that. that. That's what we do. We do this continue. We sow into where we, the Lord's leading us to. You know, and so that's a wise thing to do. So that, that link is there. And then also a link to uh, my Telegram cardboard box page, cardboard box search page. So if you're not on Telegram, we love it. It's Telegram is a very simple uh, social media platform. So if you're not on Telegram, you can join and then, and then, and then take that link that I have there and then join Carwell Box Church and follow Carwell Box Church. And then you can see what I'm posting now. I'll, I'll post things on Telegram that are not on my YouTube. Anyway, thanks for listening to all of that. I hope that you've enjoyed that and learned from it. And so watch out, watch this situation. And you'll see all those things I pointed out. God bless you. See you next time. I want to pray for what I call a supernatural ice pack so that this ice in the natural may swell go down. All right, so, so Lord, give her a supernatural ice pack right now. Holy Spirit, give her a supernatural ice pack. In Jesus Give her a supernatural name. ice pack right now. Swelling go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Swelling go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Swelling, and I rebuke every evil spirit. I command every evil spirit to get out of here in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit. Every evil spirit, get out of here. Man is made in the image of God. God loves everybody and wants everybody to believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. And so right now, swelling go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit, out, out, out. Be healed. Swelling go down. Do you feel anything going on? Actually, I do. A, a lot. What, what are you feeling? Uh, like, like a body. What a heat. I was calling for a supernatural <laughs> ice pack. <laughs> hey, the spirit's working on you. Yes, yes, yes. Move God will give you what you need. Feel. Move it around. Tell me how you feel. Feels great. Like, like. I can actually feel it like this. And you couldn't do that the whole time. But so you haven't, you couldn't bend it like that in years. A long time. So like, it looks like it's still swelling, but I, I get the sense that the swelling is going down a little bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So swelling go completely. All swelling go down completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Swelling go down completely. I command excess water, water build up there. I command you to flush out. Flush out, flush out, flush out, and firmly go, and firmly go. Every curse be broken off her in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. Life, 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 life. Now, life in Jesus' name. I, I felt something else going on there. What else are you feeling? What other kind of manifestation? Well, I, you know, believe it or not, this leg is really bad. I've been into an accident. This knee went through the console. So, like, I think it's just a little bit this way a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to spin here. I, right. I have a pinch nerve up here from the same accident. So I want to speak to so. those direct, those things you just said. All right, so like, it's like the trauma, like when your knee went through the console, console it's trauma. So, so trauma leave her knee. Your spirit of trauma leave her knee now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And all nerves, all pinch nerves be free. Yes. I command a loosening to all tight muscles. Be free right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Here's your ice. Amen. There it is. Oh, you felt it now. I started Here's feeling it too. Ice. I started feeling you also. So, 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 pinch nerves be loosened in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural ice pack. So, so, all, so, excess water flush out. Trauma go from that car accident. Trauma from your car accident. Go in Jesus' name. Go. Is it cold? Yeah. It's cold. So, swell is like ice pack. And it's like it's like almost a hundred degrees out here. So it's hot. Supernatural yeah. ice pack. It's supernatural. So so swelling go, inflammation go in Jesus' name. Be restored help. Jesus loves you. He wants you to come into a personal relationship with him where you're born again. Yeah. That's what he wants. Because because you you believe in Jesus. I, I feel a little cold still here. Yeah. You still feel it? Yeah. <laughs> was there a point in your life where you felt like you became born again at some moment? Yes. Okay, all right. But but over the years, you, you felt as if something's been pulling you away from your faith a little bit? So, all right, so is, is it related to a man? 
Yes. Good. So say this. Say, Lord, Lord, I forgive him for all the things he's done to hurt me. I release him. And I, and I pray that you forgive him of his sins. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, so there's a release from that. There's a spiritual release in that. So, so Holy Spirit, keep on ministering to her. Keep on ministering to her in Jesus' mighty name. Because, Lord, you love her. Jesus Christ has forgiven you of your sins. He loves you. And so healing is for you. So we speak that life over you. Life, life, life. Now walk Thank around, sis. Tell me how you feel when you're walking. Does, does it feel like the swelling is less? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it looks less too. Has it changed right now? It definitely looks like this. Yeah, less. it looks a little bit less. It does. It's, yes. It's, it's a lot less actually. Yes, yes it's but a lot it's not less. a pants are looser. Does yeah, it, pants are looser. Does, does it still feel bit. cold? No, but a little bit. A little it's bit, not, but it was. Bad, it filled yeah. up for that's, Yeah, we stopped talking about that for a while. Um, what else? What else? Like, would you able like feel the pain if you press in there? So do you feel no. like? You feel like there's like a, a supernatural force field around your knee? I actually kind of do that. Yeah, that's because the Holy Spirit is all over you. When the Holy Spirit comes on a person, it's like a force field that protects you from like the outside environment. It's incredible. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yes. God is real. And he wants us he wants us to avoid sin like like we all we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god but we want to avoid practicing sin you know where where we're we're doing something that we know is wrong but yet we keep on doing it no there's nothing on my head sure? is there anything on my there's head nothing there's nothing on, on, on his my head, head. i'll talk to you now there's I'll nothing on his head i'll talk to you later so the more you line up the more you're going to be blessed so it's so like that's how, that's how you do it. So it's not a matter of like trying to put rules and regulations on you. It's trying to bring you to the point where where you'll have a closer relationship with the Lord. Because when right. you obey Him, then you hear Him better. You you have a you feel better in your relationship with Him. You just feel better. You know, you, there's a better connection, and and it risks alienating the one you're with. It risks it. 